<laughs> you done this yourself, I take it. Well, an electrician did that. But no, yeah. no way, no way. A qualified electrician done that. I can't see it. He wasn't happy. Well, he d whether he's happy or not, I can't. S if I sent out an electrician, an apprentice, if I sent out an apprentice trained by me to do that, and then I came and inspected, I would sack him straight away. Because to me, that's someone who doesn't give a. Hi there, uh, Delroy again here. Um, today I'm out in Essex. I've been to this job before. I came to do, the guy was getting a kitchen put in and he wanted some points running. Whilst I was trying to do the work, I, there was some fault on his ring circuit and I didn't have time to sort that out, so I had to go back. So I'm here today, see what I can do. Hopefully film it and let you see. Yeah, this is where we are. Oh, some nice countryside coming out of here, coming out, out here. I like coming out into the country. The only thing is, you see these um, lamps sticking out the ceiling? Yeah. I mean, how would you, they're connected above, how would you get to them if you were to, if there's a fault or something, you'd have to cut the ceiling. Okay. That, cool. like, that cable trails all the way across to around about here. Yeah. And they all kind of just connect into a connecting block. Oh, that's not good for maintenance if there's a problem. Yeah. Because you'll have to cut the ceiling. Oh, well, I would go, I'd take a carpet up and go under the floorboards. Oh, okay. Because okay. I, I know where the, I mean, that's still a hassle though, as you're, yeah. as I'm finding. Right I've never, oh, so all your sockets are on the same circuit, upstairs and downstairs. Are they? Seems so. It seems like everything's on one circuit. Look at that. That's the circuit there, and you've got what? One, two, three, four cables in it. That's not clever. Right, well, going by my continuity tester, that and that forms a ring. This and this forms a ring. That's the two Earths here. But they don't form a ring. Right, so, yeah. This, these are just the two Earths for him. These other two cables, this set of cable, that one, that, that's another set of cable. They're not, they're just by themselves. Yeah, but so the phase forms a ring, the neutral forms a ring, and the, um, but the Earth doesn't. That's just using my um, uh, ordinary continuity tester, not by my mega. So I put the mega on it and see what I'm getting. But I think that was the problem. Uh, I think that was the problem I found that the earth, the earth wasn't very good. Right. So what we got is a no earth continuity. The earth is not forming the ring. So I'm just going to check to see if it's a loose connection or something like that. If not, it's just a matter of sp splitting the circuits into radials, fusing them down to 16 amp, and that's it for my days. Right. Okay. So it's not too good. Fixings. All right, so that's pretty tight. But um, this spark you've done this, you don't know what they've done. Because when you see things like four cables in an MCB, don't give you confidence in the geezer that's done the job, to be honest. It's got the MK, because that's the make of your fuse board. But like I said, they're discontinued, so it's quite hard to get them. But I'll say they still have them, but I think they're not. So it was at this point that I actually found the fault, wasn't it? That's all tight, so that should be okay. Uh, it, no, 16 or 20 amps will do. Yeah, no 20s, but they got 16s. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and you're at uh, Springwood, which is on the way to the... Right, so that's only got one cable in. So, the fact that that's only got one cable in, that's got three, which one comes through to this one here, tells me there's some sort of um, connection in the floor, or somewhere else. And that's why you got this problem. There's a triple socket there. Uh, I'm not going to take that off because it might be aggravation putting it back. Just yeah, I'm just going to leave that. I've put the ring in connectors, and then I'm going to go and check at that socket to see if that because I I think that's where the break is, 
And if that is where the break is, then I'll just have to do disconnect the neutron and the earth there and make these radial circuits. I think that's the quickest way out of it. It's all good. It's all good. That's the problem I found when I came here. And um, this one is just a spur to next, to next door, so that doesn't matter. So I've connected one side of the ring. Neutral there. Live here. Earth there. So I'm going to go back now and see what's live and what's not live. Right, let's see what we've got here. Okay. No earth, see. It's not connected there. So what's that telling me? The earth is not is not connected somewhere else. Okay, so that's there. I'm getting life in neutral, okay. Nothing there, so that's dead. Okay, that's all good. So right. So I'll see how many sockets come alive on that side and then I'm going to swap it over and see if I get face to earth here because then I'll leave the other side out. Well, sounds, com sounds a bit complicated but it should all work out in the end. So that socket's live. This one's live. And this one. That's in the desk. I'm downstairs now, so the one that I disconnected up there, you got a live. Uh, and then you've got three down here that are live. So I'm going to swap it over now, and all the others should come alive. And then I just I'll have to do a disconnection at that point where I'm at. Anyway, I'll figure it out. I'll let you know. Well, I've connected the other side, and every socket's working, including the ones that were working from the other side, from when I connected the other side. But <laughs> this is confusing. This is really confusing. Right, so here we are. This was the first side that I connected, yeah? That's the first side I, I connected and I got live and neutral here. I've reconnected it, got live and neutral here. Right? No live, no face to earth, yeah? That's with that side, the, other, um, the first side. When I disconnected this side, I reconnected the other side, I expected to find phase and neutral here, right? Which I didn't, which I, it's disconnect, I've disconnected it again, so I didn't get any phase and neutral here, but I got phase and neutral here and phase and earth here, right? Like I say, this, I'm not getting phase and earth here. This is when I connected the first side. I was getting phase and neutral like I'm getting now, but no phase to earth. When I take them out and put the other side in, this, I expected this to be alive, that's why I connected it, but it was dead and I was getting phase and neutral here. Well, yeah, but mind you, that's not even proper phase and neutral. Yeah, that's not even proper phase and neutral, just, I didn't really notice that on, um, or oh, did I, I can't remember, I'll have to check the recording. But that's not even for the phase and neutral, because it should have 240 volts going up there. So, right. Right, so I've connected the other end of the ring. 240 volts. 240 volts. This I was expecting this side to be live. Nothing. 
Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. So that's it. Okay, so I'm going to switch it off. I'm going to connect that in. And then uh, do a test. Proper test on it and see what happens. Let me try and explain this. Right, see these, this here with the ends bend over here? I've made sure they are, that's one side of the ring, okay? And this earth. When I first connected that side, I got phase in neutral at that point I've disconnected, but no phase to earth. And I got three sockets working. I got, the, uh, I, I got two sockets working, three sockets working downstairs. So I disconnected them and reconnected the other side of the ring, here, here, and here. And now I've got all sockets working, including the three that was working on this side. And where I wasn't getting face to earth over there, I'm getting face to earth. And the other side, which I thought would have been alive when I connected this side, is dead. <laughs> it's weird. Wait, I'm going to reconnect that and just try it again. So, right, so that's the side that I connected first of all. And actually, what I notice now, I don't know if I've noticed it the first time. I'll have to check the recording, but I'm not getting, I'm getting some sort of continuity, but not um, 240 volts between phase and neutral, and there's nothing to work. So once I disconnect these, these three, and I reconnect that one, that one and that one, I then get all the sockets working and I get um, continue uh, phase and neutral and phase and earth over at this connected point. So I'm going to do that now. So uh, they are the end, those the other end of the ring that, I've, that I first connected and I've disconnected it and I've reconnected the other end of the ring. Okay. Right, so this cable here, that's, that's, that looks like four mil or six mil, I don't know, comes from a socket downstairs above the counter. And that's what you wanted connected to the circuit up here. But when I found that fault, I couldn't do it until that was sorted. So, that's, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it in here. And then do a test and see what see um, how things work out. Yeah, with fixing this box, I've had to use um, I only use the five mil drill, drill the hole, but I put number ten raw plugs in because wool's so bad it just breaks away. So um, if I use the number ten drill or a number five point five, no number six drill on number 5.5 um, drill, it would have just been too big, it just breaks away. Not very good wall to fix it. And when you're doing these things, you need to um, have good fixings. Um, also, he used a six mil for the cable. I think the guy had done it himself. He just, he said he used, he wanted to make sure the cable was big enough. So he used six mil. There's only a socket downstairs, so. It was a bit of a task to get it in the junction box, but it's all sorted. So I'll just connect this and then I'm going to do a test and see what readings I get. Because it's just going to be one lip, one big radius. It's just going to be one big radius. Right, so I've just done a test on that socket there. And, and you got it connected? Yeah, and I've got a... Uh, I've got... That's the highest reading. So it's one big long radial now. Well, not big, it's one radial. And this 0.84 is the R1, R2. So that's all good. Right, that socket there, that one there, or on a different circuit, I think from what the, and the one under here, the guy told me, because I've just, I was just doing R1, R2s on the rest and they, they in, they're live, okay? So, and I only saw one socket circuit up there, Mark. He said it's connected to this light switch here. 
<laughs> the one under there and those two are connected to this light switch so whether it's connected to the lighting or well it must be because um there's no other uh, circuit up there there's lighting and water yeah but that's not my my worries i'm here to sort out these these other ones so um i can at first i was i thought they were in in the because i couldn't see any other circuit up there so it was fear to assume that they were on it as well but now i know they're not so i'm not concerned with that and i'm getting earth continuity now at all points and i'm going to connect the circuit as a radial okay cool see that detector that's in the way you know but when you try and screw neutrals <laughs> it's in the way you're using your screwdriver <laughs> oh boy so i've put that's the 16 amp i'm putting for that radial and these other radials i'm going to put there's one 16 amp there 116 amp here so i've got that circuit connecting now i'm going to go around and do my test it was a one of those ones we had to drop the whole thing out put the rcb in and then put it back rc mcbs in and then put it back and make sure they're all catching right so i hate doing them but so um it's done now so i'm going to go around and test and see how it goes so that's 0.77 that's the end of circuit that socket there, end of circuit, and um, 0.77, uh, that's the ice loop and penis reading. So that circuit's fine now, all working, all working, uh, one radial. So here are the readings for the um, uh, trip time, 54.5, 63.7, 12.7, 21.6. So on the NIC form, they only ask for times one, so that's 63.6, whatever it was again. Yeah, that's the one, 63.7, that's the one you'd put down. All good, nice one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the other two circuits on their own radio, and that should be fine. The other um, two 2.5s that were in that fuse with, with the ring, one comes to this socket here, one comes to that socket there. Can you see that? And uh, they both tested out fine. That one's 0.22, no, 0.26. That one was about the same. Just gonna check the um, trip time. Make sure they're tripping. Change this. Auto to 30. I don't know if I've been through this before, but this is the MK, MK fuse board. And for some reason, when the um, main RCD trips, it only trips to the, to the middle. So when you push it up, not gonna happen. You have to push it down, then push it back up. Sorry, down, down, then back up, yeah? And it trips, only trips there, push it down, and up because if you try and if you do that you don't i've been called out quite a few times i think i may have mentioned it before but just in case i haven't just a reminder to people who don't know problem this switch yeah should switch on those two lights these two lights yeah that's all it does just well the thing about it is mate if you can't get to them connectors you can't fix it I've got, I've got a solution to See, that that's the thing i've lifted the floor let me have a look let me have a look let me have a look it is a, uh, the floorboard is, I just need to shuffle the bed. Yeah, and okay, cool. Up and but <laughs> that's not a good way to have your installation. Man. What's that? Because you should be able to do it from, it's not good to have. I did, I was told that, but Delroy, it just didn't, it just didn't look nice. Okay, cool. Right, so it's them lights there and the connections from, is it, are underneath the floorboards, so. 
going to have to have a look at them, see what's going on. There you've got a three core and neutral is it here. I think that must be the neutral there. So God knows what they've done. Right. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong with these lights. There they are. Connected, just in connectors in the floor, that's how they were, just down there. <laughs> no, not in a junction box or anything. So let's see what we get in here. See what we're getting. Right, the switch is... Hey, um, Damien? Can you activate the switch? Right, switch it on. Right, okay, something's it's not getting continuity somewhere. Okay, cool. Um, listen, mate. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna need to, tr to sort this out. We need to trace where the cable goes. Well, and it goes off in that direction, into the hallway direction, I don't know. See, this this cable here is, yeah. br is bringing in the power, yeah? Yeah. Now, there's a problem there, probably a neutral. Oh, look, let me check something, because you left it on, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Let me check something. Are those gloves you've got on there, uh, they're insulating gloves, is it? No, 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 it's just... Just cold. Right, okay. Yeah, we've got a neutral problem. Because you see I'm getting 240 volts between live and earth, or fake switch line and earth. But I'm not getting 240 volts between neutral and earth. Neutral, I'm neutral and switch line. So it's a neutral connection fault somewhere. So, um, see this cable here? Yeah. It goes that way. Where does it go? So I need to get this up there, don't I? Well, if we can get a little That's if it's connected under there. I doubt it, because that floorboard, they've probably pulled it from somewhere in the hallway or something like that. Right, okay, so... Which is the cable again? This that, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the one bringing the power in. Well, there's a junction somewhere, because one, it goes down, goes down to the switch, goes down to the switch, and... It must pick up the neutral from somewhere. So the journey for that cable is from, from Well, wherever that cable is connection connected, that's where we want to, that's what we want to see. To solve the problem. It may not even be there, maybe somewhere else, but we need to see that first, that first connection. Which means lifting floorboards up in the hallway. Well <coughs> the thing is does it go that way and then down there? Let me have a, let's have a look downstairs. Oh, that's some massive connections on the rear. <laughs> oh my days. So these are the connections on the there. I'm just gonna carry on working the shell. Yeah, oh my days, but mate. <laughs> you can't um no, I I can't just connect I can't just connect, run a cable and connect here. No, no way. That's all that needs to be in a proper junction box, in a proper connection. <laughs> if I'd done that, then uh, that would be a terrible thing for me to do as an electrician. I can't do that, mate. Can't do that. That's That's got, and these cables are too short. I can't even get to, to work on them. What you would need to do, mate, I'm telling you. And look, what you need to do, Another day, you'll have to lift up this floorboard, that area there, so I can get to get to those cables properly and I can connect them properly for you. It's no point trying to do a quick little thing now. It isn't, you know, I can't do that. I can't, can't work like that. I have to, if I'm going to do it, I have to do it properly. Yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is lift up these floorboards so I can get on those cables and I, I get some proper junction box and <laughs> you've done this yourself I take it well 
an electrician did that. But... No, no way, no way a qualified electrician done that. I can't see it. He wasn't happy. Well, he d whether he's happy or not, I can't see how he, he's not to me. He's like, if, if I sent out an electrician, an apprentice, if I sent out an apprentice trained by me to do that and then I came and inspected it, I would sack him straight away. Because to me, that's someone who doesn't give it. Because coming from me, you'd have to have been taught properly. And to do that, nah, I'm sorry, man. Maybe people might say I'm over the top, but to me, no way. So that's the best thing. I'll have to come back because, like I said, time's running out now. I need to get back. And then the, you that, connect those. Yeah, well, what you do, what you, yeah, is we'll run something, run a cable from here over to there to connect that. But it's all has to be done properly. All right, Damien? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> right, well, that's the end of that job out in Essex here. And them connections on the floorboard. Oh my day, what would possess someone to do that? Anyway, um, if he wants that sorted, like I said, left will have to get up all them floorboards and sort out the wiring properly. Don't know why, why you'd have your pendants hanging like that, but he likes it. He said he didn't like, he didn't like them being on the surface, the connections being on the surface. Because obviously they must come with some sort of um, uh, ceiling roll that you put on the ceiling, but he said he didn't like it. So that's why he done what he did. And um, anyway, that's the end of the story. Hope you picked up something from it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, Omari Ads and Brands. Give him a call if you're trying to grow your business. He's really good. Okay, thanks.